Hello my dear friends, this is Amirash and I welcome you to another amazing session. Today I'll be discussing some mistakes that you need to avoid before attempting your maths term 2 exam paper, right? So these are going to be some errors and some tips for you all so that you can be safe, you can protect yourself, you can save from that loss of marks and mathematics exam generally with students face. When they are capable of scoring 40 by 40, then they end up scoring 35. Why? Because of these errors that they make. And today I'll be warning you to protect yourself, to avoid these mistakes at any cost, right? Because they can snatch away your two to three marks. Okay, number one, overconfidence or underconfidence. Either you are overconfident that I know everything, I can solve each and every question, I am the best at mathematics or you are underconfident that how will I be able to solve the question, whatever difficult question approached, will I be able to solve it or not on time. So this causes overthinking in both the cases, right? Isn't it? In overconfidence, what is happening? You're not practicing much. In underconfidence, you're practicing, but you're not confident to give your paper. So always be calm and composed, just like MS Dhoni. How many of you know Captain Cool MS Dhoni? He's always calm at every situation, whether the team is winning or losing. So we also need to have that confidence in ourselves, and that can only be built when you have practice. Overconfidence comes when you've practiced a lot and you think that all the questions are easy for you. But that doesn't mean you'll stop practicing. Whether you've practiced a lot or not, you still have to practice. The second mistake that students do is less practice. They do not practice much. They just do their NCRT and uh, this is not enough. You have to solve previous year questions. You have to solve exemplar, isn't it? You have to solve the sample question papers, okay? And other additional questions, right? This practice will only give you the confidence in mathematics because mathematics is logical and analytical, in which reading books would not help you at all. Third mistake is eating junk food and spices. Please avoid junk food. Avoid any kind of problem. Avoid diarrhea. Many students face with diarrhea. Okay. They face diarrhea because of eating a lot of junk food or spices due to spices. What happens? They feel sleepy. Right? All the time. So we don't have to do that at all. We need to eat nutritious food. Okay. Nutritious food is a must during this time. So do not skip this. Not attempting sample papers. Now this fourth and fifth point, these two points are interconnected. If you won't attempt the sample papers, you will have the time management problem. Let's discuss them together. Number one, not attempting sample papers. What are exactly these sample papers? They are just the blueprint on the blueprint exact uh, paper that you will get in your board exam. Same pattern, same time, time bound paper of two hours to understand, to evaluate yourself whether you're able to complete the paper on time or not. If you won't give the sample papers, if you directly jump to the CBC exam for the first time, then you will face time management problem for sure. You'll end up scoring 30 or 32, right? Because you will, even though you would know the questions how to solve it, you would not have time in your hand. That's why attempt sample papers um, during these the, during the gaps uh, that you've got, the gap of your seven days, so that you won't face the time management problem. Fifth is the calculation errors. Why do people attempt calculation mistakes? Because they don't have practice again. Now, calculation is something which is specific to mathematics. You don't have calculation in biology, um, in chemistry. We do have, but easy one. In physics, we have social studies and English also doesn't relate to calculation. Calculation is something which is specific to uh, mathematics. Where is my... Yes. Which can literally phase away your, math, your marks. So how to do this? By um, doing time-bound practice, as I said. 
and learning the tables as I always say right this will help you a lot conceptual error now conceptual error can be made in chapters like some applications of trigonometry the conceptual error means error in your concept error in understanding like if we if they've told you uh, a tar is there on the tar we have a flag star an angle of elevation angle of depression that concept if that is weak then you might make the wrong figure and wrong figure means entire question wrong like from the top to the bottom let's say this is the horizontal plane let me change the color let's suppose this is your horizontal plane and these are the two angles what you did this had to be 60 this had to be 30 but you wrote 30 and 60 conceptual error calculation error in surface errors and volumes especially when you have to take out those um, square roots or cube roots students make a lot of errors in that right so this is one type of mistake that children make calculation conceptual understanding the concept in circles you did not understand the concept from where the tangent is there which is the point of contact which is the external point isn't it so that tangent has to pass from here so this is understanding the concept if it is circumscribing or inscribing what do these terminologies mean understand now Seventh is dopamine detox. This is a thing that you have to do. Dopamine, you understand, it's a hormone. It's a chemical secreted by our brain. Whenever we have that enjoyment while you're feeling, right? Especially with your addictions, right? Like some people secrete dopamine when they are on social media. They enjoy a lot posting videos on Instagram and on Twitter, Snapchat. Please stop this. You have to keep this challenge of dopamine detox. Detox means stop all your addictions and focus on your studies. Because if these addictions continue, you won't be able to concentrate. So this tip is for focusing more. Okay. Due to this, due to dopamine, children can't focus on their studies as they're addicted to a particular thing. Eight point is connected. Distractions to be avoided. The biggest distraction can be your gadgets. Okay, so throw away all your gadgets for some time, right? And try to avoid using social media, um, please. That will help you a lot. Ninth is the mistake that students make, not getting sound sleep. Sound sleep means your deep sleep. You need to get that. And please sleep for eight to nine hours daily out of 24 hours. Divide your time into eight, eight, eight. 8 hours sleep, 8 hours all the activities and 8 hours study. This should be your timetable. Sleep is very important. Without sleep, you would feel dizzy, you would feel raged, agitated, right? You wouldn't be able to concentrate properly. Your focus will decrease ultimately. So if you're going to sleep inconsequently, your focus power, the way you are concentrating, the way you are comprehending the questions, that will enhance. That is why get the sound sleep, just study 8 hours daily, 2 hours sample paper, right? 6 hours practice. I mean 5 hours practice, 1 hour analysis and revising the topics. And 10th um, mistake that students do, do that they don't have a positive mindset, which has to be there. Without being positive, you can never score good marks, right? You need to be positive, you must be motivated all the time, right? If you're feeling demotivated, do something that you like, any of your hobbies, right? Like, what do I do when I'm not feeling good and I just go out for a walk? I just enjoy the beauty of nature. I sit under a tree because I am fond of nature. I, You know that I am a biology lover. So I love nature. I love life. That is why I'm taking biology in my life, right? So I just enjoy being with nature, being with our surroundings. Because it spreads a lot of positivity in the environment. You also have to make sure that you are doing it, right? And we have come to the end. All the best for your mathematics exam. I know you are going to do your best. Even I have prepared well. I am also going to draw. So do let me know if you, know if you want something from me for the upcoming exam. Bye-bye. Thank you.